Maybe you can explain that then, too. Uh, 19 plus 2, 20, 21. We just talked about this, people. You know what? It's okay. It is okay. It's okay. Welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Rob. And I'm Graham. And today we are going to talk about Bushmills 21. With Chad. With Chad. Again. Back again. How you doing, Chad? I'm doing good. Welcome back. Good again. to be back. Number three for you. That's right. Number so Chad's never had Bushmills before, so we figured we could maybe introduce him to the 21 year. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I look forward to it. And then everything else will be crap. <laughs> All the rest of it will start at the top, so there's only one way to go. Down. We were able to get it for about $109, and uh, it is a 40% uh, ABV. What kind of whiskey is it? It is Irish whiskey, of course. <laughs> of course. Found it in Bushmills. Very cool. Town in Northern Ireland. And like Rob said, this is 21 years of age. Um, so the whiskey is actually going to be in two casks, Oloroso casks and bourbon casks for 19 years. And then it's going to be married into uh, Madeira casks for two years, and that's where you get the 21 year. Yeah, I was hoping you would explain that. And if anybody doesn't know, Madeira casks, if, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um, they're more used for wine, and typically anything aged in those types of casks is going to be sweet, spicy. Well, is that kind of like the Bushmills uh, 10 year too, kind of fruity. I believe, because that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and it's also going to have a darker color, a darker like caramel color, burnt, yeah. burnt caramel. So it is natural. Correct. The uh, Bushmills 21 year was the uh, rated the number one Irish uh, single malt whiskey in 2013. Actually, this goes back almost actually over 400 years. Back in 1608, King James I granted Sir Thomas Phillips, who was a landowner and governor, the access and the license to distill, but I don't believe they became official until about 1784. I have a question for you guys. Sure. I see uh, some numbers on the bottom here that yeah. make it look like it would be a limited quantity uh, purchase. And is that, that it correct? is, yes. And this okay. is actually the 52nd bottle of 2016. Oh, very cool. Of the batch. When they make, you say how many they make a year? Isn't it like 900? Yes. Yeah. 900 cases a year. That's pretty rare. Yeah, it is, actually. How do you like your Bushmills 21? Rare. Yeah. We enjoy the Bushmills 10 year. Um, yeah. Original Bushmills is pretty good. 10 years by far superior. Mm -hmm. So I'm really looking forward to have this. There's also the 16 year, which I have yet to try as well, but I figured I'd skip that and jump to the 21 see how it is. Apologize for the baby. It's mine. Want to shut your baby up, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> I will apologize, but I will also not apologize because that will happen. I can't stop it. Yep. It's life, people. It is life. It is life. It's you want to stop rocking the baby up there? <laughs> what are you guys doing up there? Bushmills is actually the oldest. That sounds nice. It's the oldest um, still running distillery in Ireland. And pretty much, it's a, I think it's top three in the world. And you said when you were in Ireland, it was pretty popular over there? Yes, yes, Ireland had uh, three very popular Irish whiskeys that were always oh, available shit. at to local pubs. All right. Here, I'll give you some back. <laughs> there you go. I got stuff to do today. <laughs> well, not much. Um, Bushmills, um, Jameson, and then a Middleton uh, whiskey were the most popular whiskeys over there. I did see Powers whiskey, but um, those three were the most predominant ones. Okay. Smell like a little bit of an orange citrus, maybe? A little bit. I think that's going to be the, the fruit, spice fruit. Yeah, okay. part of the fruit. But. A lot of sherry. It kind of reminds me of Eagle Rare, oh, where yeah. it's, I can get the toffee and then the, the fruit. I don't get any dark mocha, mm. which I've heard you can kind of get, but yeah. I, I'm not getting any of that. It's more a lot of fruit, fruit right now. Yeah, and the toffee. Getting a little, a little not cream. Yeah, not very spicy. So maybe that cream is some toffee. Prost to the bros. To the bros. That is smooth. Yes, now compared to nuts. the video we just did. Did you get nuts? No. I actually did. It's very soft compared very soft. to the um, Jameson that we that just tried. That goes down like water. Mm -hmm. 
That's dangerous. That's, 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 that's dangerous. Finish is, is not going to be too strong, and it's not going to be uh, long lasting, but it's very gentle and yeah. biting. I like that. That's good. Yeah, definitely compared to the uh, the last video, the Jameson uh, one, this is definitely smoother, I'd say, going down. Yeah. I do I do get that orange peel, though, no, that you're I talking about. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just like a sweet fruit. Yeah. Because, remember, in those Madeira casks, it's going to mm -hmm. be sweeter and See, uh, I'm not, I'm not getting too much. I get a lot of sweet on the on the uh, on the nose, on the on the um, on the palate. I'm almost getting like a like a sweet tea, or maybe even an unsweet tea with some sugar. Just after after swallowing it, and then on the finish, I can definitely taste some mocha. Mm. Maybe it's, it's because of, you know, maybe because I'm trying to pinpoint it, but it, it's there. Getting a lot of like a tea flavor. Some cream, a lot of cream. Oh yeah. Anybody else with the mocha? Not the mocha, but no. I am getting cream. Yeah, definitely now the cream for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely smelling that. It'll be very sad going down now from the top of Bushmills. Well, but I imagine the other Bushmills are not. Bushmills ten is very good. I actually yeah. think the ten is. Well, I, I might actually prefer the ten over this because now that I've triggered that mocha, it's really there on the finish, and I don't drink coffee or mocha mm -hmm. so it's it's not that it's bad but yeah I think I would maybe tend to gravitate more towards the the 10 because that's gonna be creamier yeah well for the price I would definitely go with the 10 well since we're going to that conversation what would you guys rate this a scale of 1 to 10 I really like the nose I think the palette is is good the finish is okay hmm. I don't think it's necessarily a bad price for it, but at the same time, there's things that I would rather have for the same price. Yeah, I, I hear you, but I don't think it's that bad for 21 years. No, no. I don't know. I'd probably give it a, uh, I'll take my last sip and I'll do it. Mm. Well, if you don't mind me jumping in, Yeah, I will say, being that I have not had the 10 year, like you guys, um, I'm gonna kind of grade it along the same lines of the other Irish whiskeys that I have had. There you go. Um, this is very smooth. Um, definitely taste those flavors, like that citrus peel and that creaminess. I did not have the smell or taste of the nuttiness. Um, I would probably go along the lines of an 8.5 or 8.6. Okay. Just because, you know, like you mentioned, price-wise, there are other things that are a little bit comparable that might be a little bit cheaper, depending on where you live, but it's a very good, good uh, whiskey, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. The more I drink it, the more I'm not as fond of the finish, but I think everything else is pretty solid. <laughs> and um, I don't think the price is, is bad, but at the same time, I think there's things that I would gravitate more towards at the same price. I would give it a, um, I'd give it a solid 9.0. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna do a three here? <laughs> For the third time? Because I was gonna give it a solid 9.0 as well. I was stuck in between an 8.9 and I a I was too, actually, and I'm like, you know, I'll give uh, it the I'll give it a 9 the doubt. Yep. I think it's good. I think it's, uh, I do like the 10 year better, I'm with you on that. Um, maybe maybe we just the, gotta drink more of it too. Yeah, uh, and that's that happened. That happened to us at the Blue yeah, Label. Remember, Johnny Walker Blue Label that happened. That's very good When you open opinion. a bottle, you really don't get a good sense of it until you get a quarter down. Right. Hmm. So just keep that in mind too. Give it, yeah. give things a chance. You know, even after you, you first try it, knowing hopefully it's going to get a little bit better for you. Yeah. You do need a little bit of oxygen. Let it sit out for a little bit, and then the flavors leave and open up a little bit more. I do like it, but uh, yeah, I, I'd like to try the 16 year. See what the difference. I mean, the 16 year actually got really bad reviews on that whiskey bible that we have. But then the uh, the old neighbor said that's his favorite. Yeah, it got like a 72. Yeah. So. Well, the best thing about it is everybody's palate. There different. you go. Everybody's got their own opinion. Exactly. That's and this really, actually this got ours and we'll go the best rating out of the Bushmills. So. 9.0, 9.0, 8.6. Hey, it's Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh -huh. So would you buy this again? Um, Eventually, yes. But I wouldn't rush out to buy it again once sure. I ran out. Uh, I could see myself buying it once again. Uh, but as of now, I'd probably just keep getting the tenure. Try out the 16 well, and we're on a budget, the, so obviously right, we're not going to buy this right, anytime right, soon right. again. But yeah, if, if I had the money, yep, I would gravitate more towards the 10. But I got to take the price yeah. into consideration. So, but if I had the money, yeah, I'd buy this. Yeah. So go try it. Let us know what you think. Go grab it. Let us know what you think if you tried it before too. 
All right, guys. Well, this was the Bushmills 21, <laughs> and this was Chad Gavigan. Six percent alcohol. Rob. Oh, I said your last, your full name. This oh, was no, Chad, edit, edit that out. Rob, <laughs> and Graham giving you our best take. And prost. So all we do is we give you our best. So hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. <laughs> and we'll be giving you more videos soon. So yes. See you soon. Stay thirsty, my friends.